Hey guys, it's West here, back with another episode of From the Crumbs. I know it's been a while. Um, I've been progressing very slowly and steadily, and I haven't had any really extremely important content to share. So I felt, you know, I might as well just save it all for another video and stack as much into one video as I can, and that's why I'm back here. It is December 1st, the end of No Summon November and No Shave November, so the cheeks are clean, the scrolls are waiting to be summoned. And yeah, I'm going to talk about some progress I've made. Uh, let's see, new monsters. I believe Stella is new. I'm not 100% sure. Um, probably should have watched the video. Wow, I'm, I'm bad. Uh, Stella, I believe, is new, though. Um, amazing monster for Giants, Dragons, Speed Teams. No, that sounds like I've said it before. I did pull another Galleon um, yesterday, just out of a random mystical that I couldn't resist summoning. I'm like, oh, I'll just give myself the one. Summoned it and got Galleon. Uh, it was the water the water um, scroll from the event. So that was pretty funny. I got a little salt from uh, a few guild mates as well as a few friends on my list who have been trying to get Galleon for a year or so. That'll be Galleon number five for this account. Uh, pretty happy. Um, and I will be saving this one as well with the introduction of Guild Siege. Um, I totally see the the need for more galleons, so I will be building uh, a third galleon, I guess, eventually. Um, not yet, of course, I don't have the runes or the resources to really just dedicate into building two more galleons for um, no reason, since it's not really necessary for the point we're at in Guild Siege. I did have some good drop luck in Guild Siege. Uh, up right now, I'm going to post a, a screenshot that I took of one of the drops I got out of a B plus shiny box. I got a double mine. That's pretty lucky if you ask me. Uh, so I was super excited about that. All my devil mines have been going into Rakan. Uh, don't ignore his stats. His runes aren't amazing. Um, he is one devil mine away from being maxed. He's been a lot of fun to play with in Guild Wars and he's actually brought me a little bit higher in arena. I did hit fighter three at one point in arena against slower defenses. I could bring in a Rakan against the slow tanky setup. Um, again, Rakan's stats aren't even that great. Uh, HP, you really want around 40,000. Defense, you run around 1,200 to 1,500. Speed, maybe plus 50 to plus 100. And if I'm going to run him on a crit damage build, you want his crit damage to be more like 170, 180%. But he's been performing really well. He's on purple purple runes, runes that aren't even plus, substats that aren't even there. I, I don't know. I, Rakan's a lot of fun. Um, and when he collapses, it's just the stupidest, most enjoyable thing ever to watch Rakan collapse over and over again on Perna's. So that's what I've been up to. I've been grinding giants, of course. Um, talk about any monster changes. I'm still running my Sigmaris, Lapis, Megan, Vero, Bella composition for giants. Um, I guess maybe units got faster. Megan's plus 133, Vero's plus 134. All my units are extremely, extremely fast. Or I, I don't know if I'd say extremely fast. I'd say um, maybe redundantly fast. Uh, just for security reasons, I like Vero to be, you know, as fast as possible for Giants. He's fast enough where he cleanses, he laps, he laps the Giant once, and then cuts in between the Crystal, or the right tower and the Giant on the second, uh, lap around the Giants and Crystals, so, so far he's been doing everything he needs to do. Runs are failing today, other than that, my runs have been really, really consistent. Most of the time, my team doesn't wipe. Uh, like, I mean, like 95% or more of the runs, like it's an extremely consistent team that I'm running. Um, only places I have complaints, I want Sigmaris to be faster, like plus 50, plus 60 speed would be nice, just so the damage output would be a little bit more there. Magic Knight's pretty much still just there for the attack bar reduction, and a little bit of extra damage uh, she brings as well. But again, she's a really nice unit to have there, it's better than a support unit. My, Sh my Charlotte was on a... Um, a despair blade attack crit damage attack build she was extremely slow and she just wasn't having the damage output that i wanted her to have so i put her on this more defensively based build you may be able to tell uh plus 10k hp plus 500 defense is not great for a support and the speed needs to be more like plus 100 but i built her like that for toa because i did beat toa hard 50 over the um past few weeks hey. and um and yeah, and I gave her a, a ridiculous amount of accuracy. All those, all that accuracy is through uh, substats. So her substats are pretty nice. 
Um, I'm trying to think of where she gets it off from. Does she get any on Awakening? Yes, okay. That's why. So a lot of the accuracy is redundant, but for TOA, it's nice. For PvP, there's a few times I've used her in conjunction with my uh, cleave teams, because um, I did actually get some leftover runes on Galleon. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, she's really nice to go ahead and CC everybody before Sigmaris gets to go, because oftentimes monsters would cut in between uh, Galleon and Sigmaris, because Sigmaris is my main nuker for Arena for the moment. So... Oftentimes units would cut in between them, and so Charlotte really closes that gap, reduces their attack bar with the third skill, as well as stunning since she's on despair. You may also notice she has the transmog. I don't know if I've showed that off before. The transmog packs, the rerun transmogs did come out, and I just couldn't resist it because Charlotte is the most adorable little unit ever with the transmog. I mean, come on, little teddy bear and toothbrush. She's sleepy little Charlotte. I don't know. I love the transmog. I think it looks adorable. Um, but that's that. Let's see what else... Uh, no other units have been getting a huge focus. My Bernard is... I really am loving my Bernard speed, 153, or 253. And uh, at up to probably Conqueror 1, that's a decent speed. I don't have a, de I don't have a reliable speed lead other than Faye, and Faye does not have runes yet, so I'm still farming for Faye. If I do rune her up, I'm going to want really, really high-level premium attack, uh, attack crit damage attack build, um, or speed crit damage attack. I don't know, I, I think that Faye needs really, really great stats in order to perform the way that I want her to. Uh, of course, with the ignore defense potential on the third skill, and I, I don't know, Faye's an amazing unit that really needs quality stats. I did rune up Poseidon for a little bit. He was used in some parts of TOA. These are th these are extreme leftovers, so these are the runes I gave him after I uh, deruned him for Charlotte, because Charlotte's rune set was on Poseidon very briefly before I moved it over to um, her, if you want to see these runes. Nothing spectacular. Uh, mostly just looking for speed and tank subs. And we'll talk about this Galleon now. This is the Galleon I've been using for PvP. He is on a Swift Blade. Blade only because um, the this rune right here got the 15 speed. I was just trying to get him high speed, high accuracy. And he does have 50% 50 accu 50 accuracy, which is a little low. I would want him, you know, 80% for PvP. The crit damage is nice because he does do damage and sometimes he will kill units in PvP. He'll hit like 9k against certain units. So, I'm really happy with him. He does bring a lot to the table, of course, with the AoE defense break and attack buff on the same scale. The time to loot is amazing. You know, irreplaceable unit. And he stops me from needing a Megan and a Belladion for PvP. So that's kind of nice. I could bring an extra damage dealer. Or as I've been bringing Charlotte and Rakan um, in that fourth slot which has been really great for PvP because I have been tr striving to hit Fighter 2 um, where I can. I think I'm sitting at Fighter 1 right now, yeah. It's kind of hard because this is my defense right here. I guess I could make a slightly better defense, but I don't know. It's kind of uh, it's kind of weird. Uh, there's no real units I could, I could put in there on defense that'll be great, and I don't really have rune sets that are amazing for PvP, so I'm not, you know, I'm not too worried about it. Uh, like I said, TOA hard. I did get up past 50. I'm on to 52 right now. Not really pushing any further than this just because I'm getting caught with the rune requirements. Um, you know, my monsters aren't completely optimized yet. That's about it for progression. Um, I have been farming tons of giants, and I will continue farming tons of giants. I'm starting to get a lot of 6-star runes. Not really anything extremely notable. Um, maybe I'll flash some on the screen. I screenshotted a few that turned out well. I don't know. I might flash some on the screen. If not, I'm just going to keep going up to the summons here, because I'm sure that's why everyone's going to watch, because I'm going to make some clickbaity title. Uh, we do have 51 summons. We have 49 mysticals, 1 wind, and the legendary scroll. And, alright guys, we've made space, and we're back. It's time to summon. We're going to enjoy every one of these 51 summons. Oh, man. So, things I'm looking for, uh, always looking for copper skill-ups. Um... I think Bulldozer is close to max skill. Uh, it's never terrible to have a second one, I guess, now with Guild Siege. Um, building duplicates of units is very viable. Uh, of course, any of the main... Ooh, fake Net 4. Any of the main um, Net 4s, so I'll take a Chasun, I'll take a Lucian. I guess I'll take more Galleons. I'm not necessarily looking for them. Here's our first Lightning. Let's see what it is. And it's the Wind Anubis. He's kind of cool. Um, all the Anubises are pretty uh, strong, but like I was saying, um, Chasun, Lucian, I guess I'll take another Galleon. Uh, I don't really need a second Verd. 
I couldn't I couldn't imagine anything I'd use it for. Um, other notable net force, there's not really. There we go. There's a copper scale up. Not too much I'm looking for. Just lightning in general. Here's some more lightning. And a water undine. Oh man, I've seen a lot of these pulled today. Actually, I've seen a lot of people summoning for um, the end of No Summon November. There's arena. Okay, more copper scallops. I've been thinking about building arena for defense. The thing is, I don't know how the rune split would go between her and Rakan, and I'm kind of scared of stripping Rakan to give arena runes. Oh, and there we go. There's a nat five. We pulled in a ladriel. That's pretty sick. Um, <laughs> not too much to say he's a really sick unit amazing for guild siege this is the arena defense monster i was looking for pair him up with rakan you know oh man that's pretty sick i'm pretty happy to get him we're going to give him a ton of defense ton of speed ton of hp we'll go ahead and lock him um he was he was one of the monsters that i got on my first um summoner's war account it's kind of sick to see him again i really undervalued him the first time i pulled him but now that I've seen him used a lot, I'll have a lot more value from him. We still got 32 more scrolls. One of them's a legendary. This is pretty exciting. So I haven't talked about it much, but my favorite um, monster family, I should say, in the game is the Dragon Knights. And something I've seen a lot in the in the game recently is a lot of Dragon Knight pulls. Wow, we're getting a lot of lightning. Ah, uh, wind tug. I've seen a lot of Dragon Knight pulls, and it got me, like, really salty. And so I've been like, oh, man, I've been dying to uh, to summon these scrolls. And I don't know, any one of the, the Dragon Knights in the game I'd be obsessed with because every single one of them is so usable, you know? Leica and Chao, even... Every, Leica and Chao, amazing in um, Giants. Leica and Chao, both amazing in Dragons, both, both great in uh, Guild Wars, Arena, like, everything. Oh, man. I don't know. I'm just super interested in their like their skill kits, the way they're, um, the way they you know the way they scale with your runes. Oh, we gotta put some stuff in a storage. In case you guys were curious about what my storage looks like, I do have a lot of f um, fodder for five stars. I am leveling chilling. He's not gonna get six star anytime soon, but he is getting leveled because eventually I would like to. I would like to build him for uh, Dragon's team. So, you know, it's good It's good to have him leveled up for when that time comes. But like I was saying, all the Dragon Knights are so amazing, and I see so many people pulling them in chat, and then I hear people, like, like complaining. They're like, oh, it's my second light, like a rip, or my second child rip. I'm like, man, I would kill for any of the Dragon Knights, and if I got six of them, I would build six of them, no matter how many dupes I got. <laughs> Even no matter how much it stunted my progression, just because I'm really interested in the monster. Oh, there we go. There's a Yaku making his appearance. The lightning rate for the summoning session is pretty good, I believe. Um, well, 49, 49 mystical scrolls and a lot of uh, a lot of lightning. There we go. We got a Wind Barb King. He was going to be a skill up for my other Wind Barb King. Um, that's a monster I'd like to build for giants for the damage output. He has the brand, the self-heal, which is really nice. Any unit that can self-heal is really good for giants. Here's another lightning. Yeah, the lightning rates are really good today for me. Uh, Wuchi, that's another dupe. Not too much to say about him. He might have some TOA uses. I think the water, I think Gildong is better. Um, now let's go to the wind scroll. Nothing. And now legendary... If we get a nut 5, that's great. Otherwise, we got what we wanted out of the scrolls. And fire, nine till fox, shiba. Right, shiba? Um, wow, I'm probably totally butchering that butchering that name. Doesn't sound right. No, that's shiba. Okay. So this was a pretty good summoning session. Um, we got a ladge reel, which was nice. We got pretty good lightning rates. Um, right? Let's see, one, two, so many luck monsters, three, four, five, six, six lightnings, five lightnings, not including Shiwa, so we got one out of every, like, ten scrolls, basically, that's a pretty good rate, that's pretty nice, and we got some fake, fake ones, right, we got one or two fake ones, which is nice, because we got some more food, I am building a Yaku, actually, right now, which is funny. Um, probably just for the elemental dungeons.
But we got some bulldozer food. Let's see if bulldozer needs skill ups. Two. He just needs two skill ups. That's nice. Bulldozer's going to be full skilled. Copper needs a lot of skill ups. And I think we got three or four of those. Uh, we got a little bit more food for Mav, which is nice. So it's a pretty decent summoning session. I'm going to have food for a while. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm going to have fun building my Eladriel. Um, I don't know if I'm going to six star him next, but I'm definitely going to be building him and looking out for runes for him. He's not going to be the next monster I double mon, though. The next monster I double mon is probably going to be... Ooh, that's kind of tough. It's kind of a tough call between Charlotte and Poseidon because both of them I, I really enjoy. I don't know. We'll see. It all depends on the runes that I pull. But uh, from here, I'm just going to be farming a crap ton of giants, trying to get as many swift runes as I can. I'd like to get my Bernard up to 270 speed if I can. Um, even with all my fastest swift runes, I could only increase his speed by 2 speed. So I'm not going to be stripping, you know, Veramos and Megan for their runes. But I'll be grinding arena. I'll be getting more points. I am. I guess I'll show you guys this now while I'm here. Um, I am 50 pieces in. I'm about to be 60 pieces into my Ifrit summoning, which is exciting because I'm really eager to summon my Ifrit and see who I get. Like I said, it doesn't matter who I get. Uh, but yeah, that's it for today. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this little summon session. If I have anything else, wow, Blender. Wow, I hope you guys enjoyed that Blender. <laughs> I'm not going to edit that out. I think it's pretty funny. Um, but if, if I have anything else to add on, I'll tag it on the video. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one.